Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Sunrise, new day's dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We're having a lot of fun here. Ron Wall in studio. Bill Cooksey on the line with us. Brad Carson uh, pushing all the buttons and taking care of us. And uh, speaking of taking care of us, i got a guy on the line right now who takes care of me. If you're looking for a deer processor, if you want to just uh, go visit with them out there, Go out to anybody that has their business on a cemetery road's got to be cool, okay? I mean, <laughs> I mean you know, I mean, yeah. um, the marble slates, are, <laughs> they're everywhere out there. But uh, that's our good friend Dave Payne of uh, Pipe Dream Farms Butchery in Galloway, Tennessee, right down the road from uh, Slingshot Charlie's. Good morning, Dave. <laughs> Good morning. How we doing? Oh, it's doing good. Uh, my wife, Mary, yeah. and ourselves had a chance to stop and visit with Dave uh, earlier in the week and, uh, you know, getting this facility ready because, as we said, today th- today is opening day of the bow season in Tennessee. Uh, Dave is posting some things. I've posted a picture of Dave, so you know he's not no scrawny runt like me. I ran a picture <laughs> of me and him together because it looks like before and after. You know, so uh, <laughs> to know that Dave's a retired uh, Shelby County Deputy Sheriff, he's uh, his business does uh, not just they do beef, they do hogs, they do all sorts of things. But deer season is uh, me and Dave. Uh, what this Dave's our third or fourth year? I can't remember. How, yeah, I think I think this is our going in our fourth year. Fourth year of being my yeah. processor, where I want all you folks to take it uh, when you're in West Tennessee and. And Dave, I know today being open to bow season, uh, talk a little bit about the business itself. I know our, our folks know it's a family business uh, between you and Melissa. Talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, oh man, we've been. This is our, I guess, our ninth season going into our ninth season at this location, um, and this is the permanent location. It'll be here forever. And um, so, it's me and my wife Melissa, like you said. Uh, and then we got uh, several employees during deer season that come out and, and work their tails off for everybody out here. We got some of the best uh, guys that know how to skin and cape your trophies out. Yes. You know, they, they take a lot of pride in it, just like if it was going on their wall. So, uh, you know, we, we got a lot, of, a lot of good employees up in here. And uh, we're open from 9 in the morning to 8 at night, seven days a week during the season. Um, we're open for till uh, I believe it's six o'clock now uh, for pickup. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it, it yeah. runs together. I think it's six o'clock for pickups, but eight o'clock for drop offs. Yeah. Uh, and we also do have uh, an after hours drop off location. And and, so. and and you guys, uh, you do take Christmas off, right? I mean, you do you do take. Some, yeah. I mean, what? what yeah, do you- we we get a little bit of break. Uh, we 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 close down uh, on Thanksgiving Day. Yes, and we close down on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. There you go, uh, folks. And uh, the only yeah. other reason he may close down is because he's been slammed with deer. Uh, That's correct. B- That's because correct. you you guys do a lot of deer, and and I know this this uh, your job, Dave, is something uh, maybe a lot of folks wouldn't think. Uh, Twenty five years with the sheriff's department would be end up uh, cutting up hogs and deer and everything like that. So <laughs> talk about how you got into this because I think it's pretty interesting, folks. Listen to this. Yeah. So. Um uh, I don't know, probably over 20 years ago uh-huh. uh, when I hunted, I, I took mine to, to a couple different places and, and I just wasn't happy with the outcome. Yep. And um, I just figured there's got to be a better way to do it. And if people are going to spend their hard-earned money, uh, they need to be able to, to, to have a somebody that takes a lot of pride in their product. Yes. And so, uh, you know, I started doing my own and, and branched out from there. And one thing led to another. And here we are doing... Oh, uh, we do anywhere between thirteen and sixteen hundred deer a season. Did you hear that? So. <laughs> thirteen hundred and sixteen hundred. Yes. Cooksey, I know uh, you. You hear those figures, you know. Uh. 
you know, Dave, Dave was my processor before he was your processor, Larry. I so, think, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just two hours away now, so I don't get to use him anymore. Yeah. I, I want to know, I have a quick question, Dave, and it's one that I've always sure. wondered, because I, I have processed some deer myself, but it is right. grueling for someone it's like worked. me, yeah. you know, to yeah. even get started. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long on a basic cut? Of a say a, a hundred and twenty pound white tail that comes in. How long does it take y'all with you know, with your setup because it's immaculate and you got everything. They do. How long does it take to do that start to finish? Oh, I would say depending if if people got it pretty basic, um, I would say from freezer to bagged up is about maybe hard to say maybe maybe about thirty five. Uh, somewhere in there. That beats the heck out of anything I can do. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and you yeah. do a better job. So. You do a better job. Yeah. And, and it's a, a, a team effort, folks. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, because this is, uh, you, you do so many deer, and you, you when you take a deer to Dave, it's going to be your deer that you get back, right, Dave? Yeah. That's correct. That's 100%. We don't swap out anything, even if. Uh, you were to order any specialties like jerky, snack sticks, summer sausage. None of that stuff gets made until we butcher your actual animal. Your yeah. actual uh, animal, and that's uh, that's, that's, right. that's that's a key place right there. And, that's uh, right. And, and and it's a family thing. And I, as I talked, as I took my wife out there on earlier in the week to to meet Dave yep. and uh, see the facility and everything like that, that. Uh, uh, she, she was asking me, well, how in the world did he get that name for that place? And I said, <laughs> so uh, the pipe dream, explain to our listeners out there, because it was very simple with Dave's deer processing, you know. That's right. But now we have this pipe dream farms butchery. Or, uh, uh, That's right. So, so you know, it's uh, we kind of just incorporated it into one big umbrella. My wife raises uh nigerian dwarf goats and mini milk cows that? and things like that? that no wait now say so, that again because brad carson got that, you raise what now what kind of goats Ni- nigerian dwarfs what? nigerian wow. dwarf goats <laughs> okay yeah. are yeah. we in arlington here what are we doing yeah. Yeah. we are just outside arlington yeah absolutely yeah. galloway's got it going on <laughs> that's right that's right and so you know we just put it all together and uh you know a pipe dream is something that that should never happen. That's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of what, what this developed into is, you know, we, we had a lot of nice things in the beginning, but we proved everybody wrong, and we've been going strong for 20 years. Yeah. You know, so, Dave, you guys also in your store, and all you listeners, I, I encourage you to go online and at least look. You have custom hand-rolled sausage items also, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we make uh, about... Oh, 10 different flavors of bratwurst-style sausages. We make a breakfast sausage. Uh, we do homemade bacon. We do everything. Uh, now, unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to make it for a few more weeks, uh, and then i got to cut it all off because we just get well, too busy. Well, that with means i got to get out you there. you got to get out there because he's got different flavors, Philly oh. cheese. Uh, he's got, pe- he's got uh, pizza flavor. Uh, I mean, it's sausage. Yeah, it's just yeah. amazing yeah. the way they do. And uh, so, tell them, tell them your hours today. Uh, Nine o'clock today. You're open the, this Saturday morning for bow season, and you'll be there till about eight. And then you got your drop off. So tell them, tell them what the fees are if you can, Dave. For a typical, bring your deer in. You got to be field dressed, folks. Don't don't bring it in there unfield dressed. Uh, you know. That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You got to do something, folks. I'm sure he's so seen up. that. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They've showed up with the yeah. deer before. That, that's not part of Dave's job. No. Okay, but tell them. That's, tell, that's right. That's tell them, right. Tell them a little bit basic now. Uh, you know, times and yeah, how much. So, all right, so uh, like Larry said, nine to eight, uh, seven days a week, starting to, starting to date. Wow. Um, and so I, you catch me in here till about five or six, and then after that you'll use the after-hours drop-off. Yes. Uh, which is the reefer trailer that's located next to the building. Yeah. Uh, you cannot miss it. When you open up the back roll-up door, all the instructions are on the left wall <laughs> on a are. giant poster board. Yes. Uh, yeah. All the paperwork's in there. CWD tags are in there for your testing samples. Everything's in there. Uh, and, and then you'll have a, a menu in there that you'll put down the pertinent information. But you won't. Very, very important. Your name and your phone number. Oh, yeah. These two most important things that have to be on this paperwork. Yes. And then you go to, you know, the county you killed it, your confirmation number, all that good stuff. 
and then you'll go through and pick a package and uh we have three different packages, and ours are 100, 120, or 130, depending on what really, you Really, really reasonable, folks. So yeah, that's for, right. For we wh- try to keep our costs down as, as much as we can and still put out a fabulous product. You do that. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And, folks, it's uh-huh. right off Highway 70 uh, in Galloway, really, uh, you know, Arlington mailing address. And I'm going to say it again because uh, – that is 1365 Borough Cemetery Road in Arlington. And if you uh, drive past Slingshot Charlie's, you've missed it. You need to turn right. right there at the road. Dave Payne, I look forward to uh, talking to you throughout the season, buddy. Yes, sir. I appreciate your work with the Sheriff's Department and you and your family. Uh, it's going to be a great year, and uh, I hope that, uh, I, that that I'll have something to show you, okay? Last that, year was bad. Sounds... Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, we appreciate y'all and everything you do and all the listeners, and looking forward to everybody, and good luck for opening weekend. All right. Thank you, Dave Payne. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, take off out there and uh, we'll have all that posted on LarryRay.com I'll but, be going uh, out there soon yeah you better get out there soon folks I was out there early in the week like I said I got some of that I sausage try that bacon I try it's some. already fully yeah, cooked it does sound good it's already fully cooked you just put it on the grill yeah uh, Cooksy I think you would have liked that uh, that Philly cheesecake well, that one was I haven't tried them yet <laughs> But uh, really I bet I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be good. You know, it's got to be good. But, but uh, look, everything they ever did for me out there was very good. So uh, I think you I'll put take your I, word for it. I think you put me on him. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you mentioned that. Quite possibly. I, I, yeah. I started the day he opened. I took deer out there. I mean, yeah. or the, the year he opened, and I took him out there as long as I lived in Bartlett. Yeah. Well, it's not too far from anybody. You know, you're right off highways. Uh, Interstate yeah. 40. If you come out of mm-hmm. Somerville, it's a uh, highway, uh, highway to Somerville over to Highway fi- uh, 70. Is it 51 over there? Uh, no, I think it's 57 or 59. Okay. You go by Wilder uh, Youth yes. Center, okay. out of out of Somerville, but uh, yeah, clean too, Ron. If you get out there and take some pictures, yeah. uh, nice. you can count on it uh, with with yeah. doing that. So, how much time we got left here, Brad? Uh, you got about a minute. Here. All right, yeah. let's. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up because I we got a special guest. Yes. Cooksey's going to introduce on this next segment. So we got one more to go. Everybody hang on in Brownsville on 1520 AM, 95.3 FM, News Talk 101.5 in Jackson. And, of course, right here at Odyssey Radio, 790 AM. We'll be right back. <laughs> 